So here is an alternative definition of Bayesian games that is essentially identical mathematically, but presented differently. It's based on types, or uh, more fully epistemic types. And uh, the type of the agent is supposed to capture everything that's private information to the agent. So uh, if you look at you know, the first definition of Bayesian games that we saw having to do with uncertainty about types and the common prior, then the type of the agent was her private signal, that is, the information set in which uh, the, the, the chosen game uh, 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 lies, as well as everything that emanates from it, namely her beliefs about what the possible information of the other agents are and information of the other agents about herself and so forth. So all of that is folded into the notion of a type. So that's mathematically very convenient packing all this information into a type. Formally speaking, then, the Bayesian game is defined as follows. It's defined as this tuple that is as follows. We have a set of agents. We have the actions available to the agent. So now we don't have sets of games. We have very directly the actions available to the agent. And now we have the type, this abstract mathematical object that, care, that captures the private information of the agents. So we have a type for each agent. And we have uh, a common prior. As, be, as in the first definition of uh, games, we have a common prior. But now it's not over games. It's over types. So agent, each agent has the type. And that prior uh, is common. The, the, the type is cho chosen according to a probability distribution that's commonly known by all the agents. And each agent knows their own type. Therefore, they also have a posterior about the type of the other agents and beliefs about what the other agents might believe it about their own type and so on and so forth. This is the type of the agent. And we have the utility function now um, depend not only on the actions taken by the agents, but of their that's the formal definition. Again, um, it's mathematically, in some sense, very simple, but the intuition is complicated because the notion of a type packs into it a lot of things. So let's see it in action. Consider this uh, game that we saw when we discussed the first definition of, uh, of Bayesian games. Again, we had four possible games being played, chosen by, at random by uh, nature according to this prior. And we, all, we had the private signals, uh, the, the uh, information sets that the agents found themselves in. Here is the type perspective on this. So what are the actions available to agents? Very simply, the row agent has the uh, uh, up or down uh, action uh, actions, and the uh, column agents have the left or right actions. The payoff, however, will depend on their type. So let's let's look for example what happens here. So what is the payoff when the agent, the row agent, plays up and the column player plays left? Well, that depends. If the type of the agents is this one. Well, what is the type? The type corresponds now to this information that they have. And the type of the second player is this. Well, what's the path then? Well, the path corresponds now to this cell right there is what happens when they play up and left. And so you get 2 and 0 when the types are as they are. Let's take some other random example here. Let's clear the slide. Let's take some other example here, clearing the slide. And um, let us look, for example, at down and left. 
when the types are these well what is the, uh, what are the what what are the what are the types so the type is uh, is is this one right here so the this is the information available to the first agent the second agent has this information available to her which means that this right here is the game being played and what is DL? DL means that we're playing down and left, so it would be this one. And therefore the payoff will be correspondingly 0 and 0. So you can look at other examples and figure out what the um, uh, type-based uh, formulation means by just taking some random row here and figuring out uh, why the row is the way it is. The uh, last thing to say here uh, before we move on to analysis is that in this particular example, by fixing the type, uh, you ended up with a very specific uh, game. And this is a complicated topic um, where, in fact, if you wanted to map it to uncertainty over games you may not have a unique game and you need to look at the set of games and the expectation there uh, but I'm just flagging this as a topic uh, what we discuss will give you a good handle on the two formulations of Bayesian games the explicit form uh, listing of games and a common prior over them and a partition structure for the agents or the type-based formulation